what's up youtube welcome back to another video in today's video we're gonna check out some street food right here in toronto to show you guys yes i'm so excited like i'm so so hungry you know street food <laughs> is the best food, okay? we're gonna check out some jamaican street food from papa chef this is the street edition and what we can find here right up queen and jarvis right. 141 queen street east nice Don't nice nice it. all right line up a jerk chicken for me i can see how papa chef food tastes all right. So yes, the food taste. You have to tell me how the food tastes you know, before I even try it, you know. So we just buy a jerk chicken with rice and peas and coleslaw from Papa Chef, right at Queen and Jarvis. Nice one, the rice and peas full of coconut milk, like no coconut milk, eh? Yeah, Papa man. Chef. Full of coconut milk. Yeah, try man. the jerk chicken. Put in my mouth, nice to go. Pepper not too hot, but nice and perfect. Nice. Mm. Real Jamaican street food. Mm. Give it to me. Go on. Let me hear it. It's <laughs> good. It has the right amount of spice. Uh, I like it. It's a papa chef. <laughs> Queen and Jarvis, come down and come get your lunch. <laughs> so we just pulled up on the waterfront. We're gonna go check out some other street food. We saw a few food trucks over here. What is this? Harbor, harbor, yeah, harbor front. Where you can take the taxis. You can get the water taxis right over there. Toronto Island. Is it yeah. Center Island? Which uh, Toronto yeah. Island? Center Island? Center Island. <laughs> They are the same, I think. <laughs> Alright, so let's check out these these street food here. This is an Indian food truck right here. B, what are you fe feeling for Billy? I think I would like a nacho. Wanna try the like nachos? Something. The thing when you're doing these food vlogs and I have a small tummy is that my tummy gets full very quick. <laughs> Ryan's gonna have to do most of the eating and I'll just do like a leg of taste test. I don't know if I'm holding any small tummy because there's times a whole chicken you eat by yourself or small tummy. Small tummy for certain days. Yes, okay. I joke, I joke. Certain days you have small tummy for real. <laughs> you don't wanna eat it. Do you wanna try chorizo nacho? If, it, if it's the most that's the most popular one? If it's the most popular one. Welcome to Mexican Bowl. Check out the waterfront, you know, number seven, Queen Street East. So try it out. Thank you. Can't wait. Oh, thank you. <laughs> this looks so good, baby. We're here at the Mexican Bowl, right on the waterfront in Toronto. So we're gonna try their chorizo. Nachos. Their chorizo nachos. Chorizo is, um, they said it's pork. And uh, Chanel is the one that ordered, so we're gonna try it today. Look like you did a good job. <laughs> you did a good job ordering. So, I already dived in. Mm. <laughs> that block? It's nice. It's really good. I wish there was like more guac and sour. The flavor? It's nice. You can request it. It's really good. It's filled with meat yeah. and cheese and everything like you know when you have tacos sometimes and there's more chips than like dressing it's not like that you actually have the dressing equivalent to the amount of chips that's there which is perfect so good toronto street food you gotta try it in mexico Before you go to Center Island, grab this and head to on the boat. You won't regret it. The coconut is not in the fridge. You don't want a hot one. Like I want it to be well cooled and refreshing, you know. All right. 
All right, cool, cool, come out, girl. <laughs> Let's go to the next spot. All right. So we are here on Queen's Key. So we are here on Queen's Key. We're gonna go get some beaver tails. Yeah, they say if you come to Canada and you don't try beaver tails, you didn't come to Canada. So we're gonna go check it out for ourselves and see how how it is. The summer in Toronto. I always talk about it. It's so nice. Yeah, we like being here in the summer. I've never tried it before. Have you ever tried it before, B? Uh, I don't. I think I did in BC, but I'm just not. I don't remember. Okay. <laughs> All right, I heard if you if you come to Canada and you haven't had beaver tails, you haven't come to Canada. So we're going to go check it out for ourselves and see how it is. So this is the famous beaver tail right here. It's my first time trying this. Like I've been living in Canada so long and I haven't tried a beaver tail. This year, if you don't live in Canada if you haven't, haven't had a beaver tail. So let's try and see how it is. I'm a cage so. I love how they, what is it, this brown thing, what is it again? It's Oreo chocolate chips, chocolate. The dough is soft, and I like some soft dough. Not like the, the thing at Kensington. Remember the churros? The churros? The churros was tough. That's why I didn't like the chocolate one, but this one is soft. I like the soft pastries. It's really good. I don't know if I like it. You don't? I like the fact that it's like hard and but I wish it was soft. I don't think I'm a true man still. How is it for you? I like it, but I think you might like the strawberry more. You know I like the soft pastries. I saw all this stuff on top and I thought it would be like so sweet and but it's not. No babe, I don't want any more. I need some water. Beaver tail. You gotta try a beaver tail if you have one. It's really good. And it's a cute little house too. We're even sitting on stumps, tree stumps like beavers. <laughs> you like it? <laughs> Oh, it's nice too. It's a good dessert, yeah. eh? Yeah. Alright, we're gonna go check out some more street food now. This vlog is all about street food in Toronto. So, let's go to the next one. This is my first beaver tail, so I gotta ring with that. <laughs> Chanel is here for the food and... Full of belly of boss. Stop, stop. Very full. <laughs> we stopped here at this Filipino spot. We're gonna try some Filipino street food today. Another street food spot in Toronto. Are you gonna get anything? This is a whole strip, so we got options. <laughs> a whole strip, but I think we're gonna try the Filipino food today. It's a whole strip. Jamaican restaurant down there, Filipino. Japanese, Japanese, uh, Ethiopian. Money for seven? Oh, I'll try one first. Where's my money? Monita, 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 I'm a rich girlfriend. 
Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> So this is my BAO guys, Filipino street food. Looks so good. I just like trying all of these different different foods to be honest. Oh wow. I don't know if it's the I don't know if it's the bread or what, but it's like soft. Super soft. Let's see. It's like a taco, but it's like Filipino style. They call it BAO. <laughs> our bar, our bowl, our BAO. <laughs> it's the, um, yeah. Acha. This is real street food, baby. You like mm. it? Good. This dough, look at it. So Ooh. soft. Mm. Bossy. Bossy. Gotta try some Filipino street food. This place is located right at, at Batters and um Batters and um Dundas. If you ever wanna try it. My personal opinion, I really like this. It's really good. We're having some good food today, maybe? Yes, we are. It's good. Refreshing. Refreshing. Um, I tried the chicken teriyaki um, rice box. It's my first time, so <laughs> I've never tried it before. <laughs> We're gonna try the Japanese teriyaki rice ball. <laughs> the teriyaki rice chicken teriyaki rice ball. <laughs> Let's see it. Let me 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 see it. Should I? Are that like a chicken? <laughs> Should I ask her how I eat it? Do I eat the top first? Or? Just take a bite, one bite at a time, babe. That's no, how you eat it. The top, and this are the hunger chicken. This can the hunger chicken. It can't be because like that little thing. Uh, Should I go ask her? Go so bite this thing, right? I no, mean, I if I own the chicken. Just bite the, the damn thing. Uh. Here goes nothing. Chicken. Yeah, <laughs> rice. <laughs> I'm afraid to bite this. Right, Actually, got a triangle. It's not a ball. Alright. Yeah, it's not a ball. If you go for it. Alright. Okay, try it. I think it's wrapped in. No, seaweed. I think there's more chicken it's in the middle. In seaweed and then the chicken, um, then the rice is there. And the chicken. And then the chicken. Yeah. Alright. It's probably easier to eat. Mm. Is it good? I think that, yeah, I want to try it. Mm. Let me try it. That's really good. How is it? Mm. I like how it's not too sweet. It's nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's good. And, so there's, a lot of, and there's, a lot, like... <laughs> there's a lot of chicken in it too. Mm -hmm. That was it guys, that was it for our street food tasting tour in Toronto. Yeah. Yeah. Today was a 
was a good one. We had a lot of different food. We had Jamaican, we had Filipino, we had Mexican, Japanese, Japanese and we have Canadian, the Canadian, beaver team. The <laughs> yeah, so yeah. it was such a fun tour today. I hope you guys enjoy this video. That's how diverse Toronto is. Yeah. You can have street food and you have all those ethnicities. From all different cultures. Yeah. Like, I'm so blessed. We're so blessed to live in a city where it's so diverse. We can try all these different foods. Yeah. Yeah. If you like this video, do remember to hit that like button and hit that share button so more people can see that video. And the bell button. And hit that subscribe button to be a part of my YouTube channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.